Good evening YouTube. So, we're out in the shed and having a play around and I remembered I got some posts today. It's a multimeter and oscilloscope 2-in-1 professional waveform meter. MT8206. It came from banggood.com. It is made in China. It's got a few different functions. DC, AC, DC current, AC current. Oh, AC current, that's cool. Resistance, capacitance, frequency, so from 10 hertz to 10,000. No, 10 million, 10 megahertz. Uh, diode test, continuity test, etc. Alright, let's open it up and have a look inside, see what it looks like. Okay, so, super set of test leads. Bagged up there, so this is what you get in the box. This was sent to me from banggood.com. It's going to be an affiliated link, as always. In the video description for this and anything else you feel like buying over there. So it comes in a nice, quite a nice bag, actually. That's really protective. It's like, like a sunglasses case. Okay. Just bagged up for shipping. And it needs three AA batteries, which I don't have. Who uses AA batteries nowadays? Anyhow, we'll go and find some AA batteries so we can turn it on and have a look. All right, we're back. I have got some batteries in there. Gonna wrap the leads, they look really good quality, actually. Yeah, nice wires. That's one thing that's hard to come by on cheaper meters, is a semi, semi good quality lead. Cat 3, 1000 volt, 10 amps. Cat protectors on the ends of them. This is a little rubber protector. Just in case you got it in your pocket or whatever. Alright, so we're coming. Protect us in them as well. So, I don't know. what have I done here? Come on. Voltage ohms, capacitance. Okay. Okay, so I like the screen. The sensitive is the voltage. It's just on my fingers. Um, can it handle reverse polarity? It's a good question that one of my subscribers would no doubt ask. Yep. And it indicates it up on the top left hand side there. It's a 6 volt battery and it's got 6.08 in it. Awesome. That's quite cool. Now. Good because it's got a little LED screen. Uh, my normal meter is just LCD, but yeah, this is lit up. Voltage AC. I like that, gives you a beep to let you know that it's high voltage. And that's what the AC coming into the shed is right now. It's just plugged into a power point which is mounted to the bench here. That's cool. It gives you a beep and tells you it's high voltage. That's a really good feature. Um, if you're not expecting something to be high voltage and then surprise, surprise it is. Normal meter won't do that. This one will give you a beep and tell you. That's, that's cool. Okay, let's just have a look at the instructions for a half a second. See if they're all in English. Auto range. Graphical waveform. All in English. That's awesome. Maximum limit AC or DC 380 volts for Hertz. 
Okay, you know what that means. Hurts. First thing we're going to do is go straight for AC. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now, is the outputting... Is the output of that dangerous now? I don't think it'll do a loop. What happens when we just go negative? I mean neutral. No pulse on the neutral. Cool. Okay, over this side, just here, we've got a Black Ridge 1000 watt power inverter. Which is currently active. So we'll go... Showing kilohertz. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. 50.02 over 3. It's pretty much identical to what the mains was. That's really cool. Um, that's the Blackridge. Don't need these packets anymore. Um, yeah, that's quite a good thing okay let's um how do we change the display to a graph <whistles> right, you can change it to show the um, percentage of time that it's actually on so if you had something that was pulse width for instance which we'll try with my charge controller tomorrow It'll tell you how long it's actually percentage of duty cycle it's actually testing. Let's get them safely unplugged. Oh yeah, just where it's open circuit there. It was showing some big numbers. Okay, what other modes we got? We've got continuity beat mode. So this is a resistance mode. Auto ranging, kilo ohms, ohms, down to ohms. Hmm, that's cool. Let's see, we've got a milliamp range, we've got a 10 amp range. A capacitance tester. It's a microfarad. I say voltage. I like the display up here that actually shows you straight up. What you're measuring? Millivolts. It gives you all the units and measures. This is... It's quite a... Quite a smart thing. I actually... Do really like this. So, milliamp and millifarad microfarad down here are um, on their own separate test point and same with the 10 amp most multimeters you'll find with the 10 amp is out on a separate test point I like it because it's not one of these ones that automatically times off where it's got a button in the center so it'll actually spend some time going flat on you um, I've actually got triple A's in this at the moment it needs double A's but they fit and they work those who are in the know already know that. So, nice little stand. It's a nice size. Fits in your hand nicely. I quite like it. Oh, got the camera over. Bit of rubber over moulding on it. Wouldn't go astray, I'm sure. If you have a look on it, Banggood or eBay or somewhere, you'll probably find a very simple case that would go around it to protect it. That being said... We'll see if with our test leads it can be wrapped up. What's going on? 
Okay, so tuck the two leads in there. Wrap the leads around it a couple of times. This is very much how you'd normally store said multimeter. Seems it's brand new and we've got them and we haven't lost them yet. Test cap covers on to protect them. Let's see if it'll go back in its little bag with its leads. That's a bit of a test. Bag's actually quite like slippery material. No, not the leads wrapped around it. Maybe this way. Yep. Quite well. Beautiful compact. Safe little case. I really like it. Like I said, links to this will be in the bottom of the video description. They are affiliated links. Don't get upset about that. Banggood did send me this out for free to play with. It will be featured in many videos from now on. This will be the test bench multimeter. And we will even do a comparison video. I'll get all my multimeters on the bench. Measure the same thing all together and see what they see what they say. Because um, making sure it's correct, calibrated, all that kind of thing is very important. Move test leads before opening case. That's a very good. That's really good advice. Very cool. It measures uh, measures hertz, which is quite different. So while we'll do a video on waveform and have a good look at that but um i need to have a read work out what i'm going to test to show you a good example and um we'll go from there thanks heaps for watching thanks to Banggood for sending this out to me to play with and uh using my day-to-day -day projects out here in the workshop and uh yeah coming soon a solar battery install and uh some other bits and pieces but uh like i say thanks for watching Thanks for subscribing. Any questions, anything you want to see me do a test with this actual particular multimeter. Sing out from above. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.